Yo, what it do, my people? So tonight, coming at you with another movie review. So this right here is Fatal, starring Hilary Swank. We have Michael Ely in this. Michael Couture from Luke Cage. Uh, Tyron Turner, his return. We haven't seen him since Belly. I don't like that. I don't like that. And, of course, Minister to Society, Kane. Okay. So good to see these actors back. Hilary Swank, we haven't seen her in a while. Like she with me and Dollar Baby and stuff, Oscar winner and everything. Uh we see Jeffrey, whatever his name was, uh used to be on the Cosby show. Like he's on here for, for a split second, a split second. But just naming a few of the, the characters or whatever. But this right here, this is the stereotypical love triangle thriller stalkerish type movie kind of it's it is de definitely if, if you want a date night you with you with your boo or something you want to netflix and chill i don't know if it's if netflix if, hell i don't know if it's netflix or something but uh whatever platform this is on like, I, I watch it on the computer. I watch it on the computer. But, uh, if you, you have the time, this this is a good, good movie to watch with a significant other or something. Like, you just be like, uh, yo, baby, hey, you see that bitch? That bitch crazy. So, Michael Ely, he's a well-to-do brother. He's doing, doing well, married, uh, he has a thriving business, sports car, mansion, anything you would wish for, young, successful brother. But it looks like he's on rocky roads, like with the wife and stuff, like both of their careers are taking up a lot of their time. They just haven't had that that spark in a long time. So he ends up going to on a trip to Vegas with the boys, with the fellas, business trip. And things kind of happen. Of course, that old white devil come through. Oh, Snow Bunny. Oh, Snow Bunny come through. Like, they got all these sisters in the club. Like, ah, they, they jamming. Ah, ah, sisters. Sisters, melanin. Look, that melanin popping. That melanin. Oh, she looking good. White girl. And they lose their mind. Hey, white girl. Hey, white girl. What's happening? Middle-aged white woman. Cool. I want you. So, <laughs> of course, things lead to one another. They end up getting their freak on. I'm, I'm not going to spoil the whole movie. Like, you can see the trailer and stuff, but I'm just giving a little a little story. But, uh, so what happens is he comes back to his life. They, he starts getting it together. Him and his wife look like they're clicking. Uh, he has a threat on his life. He's, he's an intruder. He almost gets murdered. Uh, they have, uh, for detectives have to come to try to solve this case. What happened? Who is the detective? Middle-aged white woman, Hillary Swank. So I'm like, hmm. I'm like, it was a dude that tried to kill him and stuff. I don't think it was her. But then, like, it's like, you might have had a hit on you. And I'm not going to give it away. But when you're watching the movie, you kind of can, it's right there. It's right there. You kind of like, I, who had motive? You see who has motive. But, it's not that simple. Like, that leads to this place. And then, you like, Hillary Swank is crazy. Like, she got a bunch of stuff happening. Maybe she tried to kill him. Uh, then he had the other dude, he tried to kill him. Wait up, and this happened? I think this one is a victim. Hold up, hold up. This one is trifling. Hold up, oh, oh, this one trifling too. Hold up, well, Hillary Swank got a lot going on with her. Like, I feel a little sorry for her. Oh, that bitch crazy. Oh, damn, they mother... Look at that. Oh. It's a... This has more twists and turns than Mario Kart. I'm telling you. It, it... It started off... It was brilliant at first. Like, there were so many twists and turns. I was like, wow. Oh, I, I didn't see that coming. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, and it's turned to this? Then after a while, it started being kind of like power. Like, it's like... That's not believable. Like, really? Really? It goes from Stephen King thriller to 
Tyler Perry-ish to Lifetime Movie Network. Like, it was so many twists and turns. It was like, it's too much. But it is a thriller. It is a thriller. It is something you watching and you like, it is interesting. Like, all the twists and turns they do, it's not just the regular... Like, they've had these movies before. Like, they had the movie with Beyonce and uh, Idris Elba in The Temptation. And they've, they've had this movie a million times. But, with this one, with all these twists and turns, and then the brother kind of be, being the victim a little bit. But with the one with Beyonce and then the brother was kind of the victim, even though he cheated. This one, he cheated as well. But the white woman, she turned out to be kind of crazy and stuff. And, and, but I, I like the cast on here. I like that they gave a lot of old-time brothers a shot. Michael Cota, I like seeing him back in the, in the spotlight. But he had a few shows. I think he got something on CBS. I don't know if it uh if it stayed or it got canceled. But uh, Michael Cota, I see, like seeing Jeffrey uh, Thomas, maybe, or whatever. Don't do it from Cosby Show. Like... He has small roles, like on power as well. He like a little small role, but he's a, he's a lawyer. Like at least he got a gig. Uh, Hillary Swank back at it. Michael Ealy, light skin, light skin brother, light skin brother. I I I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of dark. I'm kind of dark. I ain't like I ain't I ain't Steph Curry like like he's Steph Curryish. Uh, Tyron Turner, Tyron Turner. Uh, I think that's the name. But seeing him, it's been a long time since you seen that brother, and you. Of course, he everything he playing, he gets shot up. He gets shot up in every movie he playing. Man's just a sign. But it was it was an interesting movie, man. Uh, I don't want to give everything away. No, too many spoilers. But be prepared to be mentally frustrated, like by all the twists and turns, man. It's like, damn, 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 damn. But let me get to. I give it. I don't. I, I want y'all to watch this, so I don't want to give it to. I don't want to give it like a real low score for y'all. Be like, I'm not even watching this, but I don't want to give it no high score because it's not. It's not like a prime time cinema. So I'll give it a seven. I'm, if if I, I think if I give it a six or something, y'all ain't gonna watch it. Give it a seven. Give it a seven because I want y'all to watch it because it's good enough to watch, but it's crazy enough to almost be lifetime. But. That is my thoughts on Fatal. Uh, but like, comment, subscribe. Could be the greatest and the most hated, man. Like, I like to do my little movie reviews and show reviews, especially on the weekends. Usually be power. Power is out of season. Game of Thrones is over. Shit, Walking Dead is not coming on. All the shows that I do, none of them are on right now. So if a movie comes out or something, I will be doing it. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Peace.